Hello everyone, Sheila back again. Welcome to my channel. I'm just sitting. Oops, I've got a bit of my stitch there. Just doing a little bit of knitting. I'm not my tea yet. I'm going to make my tea soon. It's half five now. So you can tell it's starting to get a little bit dark. It makes my videos a little bit darker when the the sun starts going down. Don't have so much trouble with the um, the autofocus brightness when the sun starts going down. But I'm doing. This is the the little four by four basket stitch. I am carrying on with this one and the other one until I get it finished because I've had so many people asking for this pattern and. I thought I might as well just keep on. It's not going to take me very long to do it. I'll finish this row and I'll show you what I've done in it. But you know what I'm using? These are little zing. The only small zing ones I have, the double pointed ones. I think it was, yeah, it was Liz that sent these to me. And I was using my, the other ones and they just kept getting in my way. I don't know. I don't usually have that trouble with them, but they were today. So I did change to these ones here. They're all right, but I prefer the zings. <laughs> I was using these ones. I was doing a tutorial earlier on how to do the, um, how to make the bubbles for Jean. So if you're watching Jean, that tutorial is on my Just Knitting channel. I'll show you how to do the bubbles the way I do them. And the way it says on the actual pattern that you showed me, I did them the way it's, it tells you on the um, the pattern anyway, but that's the way I do them anyway. But it had been that long, such a long time since I've been doing them. Um, I've forgotten really, I had to have a, a refresher, you know, a bit practiced before I did them. But that's one of the sides. I have the. That's the back. And that's one of the sides there. And this is the other side. And it's a perfect match from where I finished at the top. I left a long end, but saw it. But I sew it in there and a long end. Where's the long end here? The long end, and that got rid of any little extra that might have put this out of out of line and it come in perfect. It's exactly it's hard to show me I've got it the right way here. But it's the the stripes are matching up perfectly, and I didn't have to do anything at all. It's certain sizes you do. That's the way that um the work out. So I've just got the other side to do. Finish this side, and then do the sleeves and put the neck on. I have a little hat to do with this as well. So I'll have to put a hat on the pattern because I haven't been doing a hat. But um I was just checking my order book for the lady that asked me for Carol, my old next door neighbour's mother. She asked me to do it and I'm looking at the um the order and I've just suddenly realised it's not just a cardigan, she wants a set, so she wants a hat as well. It's a good job. I didn't just do it with one ball. I have two balls of this, so I know there's enough to do it. Um a hat as well. But anyway, that's how that's I think that's great how it's matched up. I doubt whether the sleeves will match up like that. I'll probably have to cut a little bit off, but whatever I have to cut off, you know, I use up in other parts parts of things that um, the way they work out but these little needles when I picked them up and I started knitting with them with them being smaller than what I normally knit with they feel smaller but I even had to check them on my gauge the four and they go through slight resistance that's what they should be you know when you put something in so that oh, it's just because they're smaller, the feel as though they might be thinner because they're smaller needles or my other ones here. 
we're looking at them the look to me looking at me they look thicker but they're not because this is a a four one that's the same goes in with a little bit slightly a bit more resistance than that one but i have quite a lot of these i think i've got about four sets of four millimeters and i've got one on a lot of different knitting things in my bag so i just put one i put them away i just put the one needle away with them and then the rest are in the um the thing there i'll put that back in there in case i lost it but anyway i was at my bingo last night and i never won anything but my friend won a five pound length so at least we had two pound fifty to come um out with but nearly paid for our drink so it wasn't too bad but you know we can't expect to win every week we expect to win every week but we don't always <laughs> one or two near misses but that was um it and i have been doing one or two of those little short what's called shorts videos everybody else seems to be putting them up I think I put one up quite a while ago when I was making the um, my own Swift. I think when I made that for the um, for the way my wool from it, one had hanks of um, wool. I made one quite a while ago, and I was just having a look at it today, and I thought, oh, I'll do one or two little shorts. It does only take a few minutes to um, to upload because you can only they have to be under a minute. You can't do a long one, so they only take a a few minutes to, to upload and that sometimes when I put um, full tutorials and things like that up sometimes it take over an hour to um, to upload so I thought oh, I'll try one or two of them because everybody else seems to be doing it so so I had a look at the one I've never really checked it for quite some time that um, the one I put up quite a long time ago and I think I've had about 1800 views on it and I've made 56 pence on that video. You don't get very much off those ones either. But, you know, it's just the fun of it. Because um, I was looking at a lot of other ones and just to seeing what people were putting up in that. So I just put up, um, I have a knitting pattern to, um, I had a knitting pattern to pack up today. So I just showed in a few seconds how what I do when I pack up my um, knitting patterns and I'll be posting it later on um, tonight but um, so I showed out the little card I put in and putting the dint to end into the little those little plastic um, the plastic they call um, card cello bags cellophane bags that's that's what it means what they are putting them into um, into there but I didn't write the name and address on the envelope while I was doing it because that's private. I don't want people to see, um, you know, somebody's name and address on an envelope. I just showed the envelope after I had put them in, but I haven't wrote the the name and that on. And then I just showed a little bit of what I was doing with this, just a little bit. So everybody get looking at my little shorts and I don't know how many you have to have to make any money out of them like <laughs> going from that other one I've got up I'll not be making very much of them but anyway that's just a little bit today to let you know what I've been up to and like, like I'm saying I'm just carrying on with these until I have finished them so I can get the pattern written out onto my PDF um I don't know what you call it it's a it's just a program i write out write it all out and then i click on the pdf to change it into a pdf and then i have to get the picture of the cardigans or whatever's on the pattern i have to get the pictures and put them through a, um image to pdf and then i have about um three or four things that I have to join together to make a single PDF that's what I have to do for um for all of those so I was trying to get the this finished so I can get sorted and get that PDF out and 
get it on my shop as well. And then I can start sorting some other ones out that I was going to. I'm going to try to sort some ladies ones out. I have to keep keep an eye on these when I'm knitting because I haven't got a thing on the end. And I keep it first. I was holding them. I was like that. And they were sticking in me, you know. And I was sticking and I was holding them. And they were sticking in me. <laughs> Pointy. I need some little things on the end for them. I've probably got some things in my bag somewhere. Like I'll have to... Oh, I have. I've just remembered I did have some little things. Oh, I'll never find them in here. Little things like that. You can stick on the end. I think this is too big for this. Like it's a... I've got some smaller ones somewhere in here. You see, stop it sticking in me when I'm knitting. <laughs> I think I'll have holes in my boobs. I've stuck it in that many times. <laughs> I can only find one in there, in the way the other one is. It's not in here, is it? No, I'll have to take everything out of that other bag. It's just, there's that much stuff in it. But I know I have two small ones like that. That's that, that's more for a bigger needle. I think like a, um, a six millimetre or something like that. I know I have two big ones like that and two small ones. So I have to find the small ones and stick them on the end of here. Stop them sticking in me. <laughs> but I, I found them. I hunted through the bag. <laughs> Just come back a little bit to tell you that I found those little stuff that stop them sticking in me. But anyway, that's just a little bit to let you know what I've been doing today and that I never won a lot of money at the bingo last night. And, and don't forget, give me shorts of you. So thumbs up and subscribe. Bye for now. Catch you another time.